Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Damn. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Much has been rumored about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S23 series and the silicon the phones are expected to sport. Conflicting reports have surfaced about the flagship phone's chances of using Samsung's in-house Exynos chipset, and the latest of the lot seems to hint at those chances being quite slim. According to industry insider Ming-Chi Kuo, the Galaxy S23 series will likely be powered exclusively by a Qualcomm chipset, and supposedly, the S23 series will completely abstain from using an Exynos chipset in favor of Qualcomm's next-gen S. M8550 flagship chipset which is expected to be branded as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and will likely debut in mid-November. Well, all of the previous Samsung Galaxy S flagships have used both Exynos and Snapdragon chipsets split by regional markets and reportedly, this shift in policy comes due to Samsung's struggles with the Exynos 2300. The Exynos 2200 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 were both built on Samsung's 4 nanometers node but TSMC's 4 nanometers node has performed significantly better, however, prompting the release of the refreshed Snapdragon Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will be built on that same node, and it seems like Samsung understands that its process is unable to compete. The South Korean company recently announced a 3 nanometers GAFET manufacturing process that would likely compete well with TSMC's 4 nanometers node, but yield rates are reportedly still too low to accommodate the production demands of the Galaxy S23 series. The node only just entered risk production as well, and will reportedly not be ready for mass production until the end of the year, suggesting there's little to no chance the S23 uses a chip set built on that process. Word on the grapevine seems to indicate that Samsung will not be releasing the Exynos 2300 at all. However, reliable leaker Roland Quant claims that the flagship chipset codenamed Quadro was still in development at the end of May. So, in my point of view, if all of these reports are to be considered true, then there's a chance Samsung does launch the Exynos 2300, but not on the Galaxy S23 series. In addition to that, a lot of people decried the demise of the Galaxy Note line as an independent thing, but it looks like Samsung's decision to basically merge it into the S series is paying off. According to a new rumor from a usually reliable source, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is on track to sell 10.9 million units in its first year of availability. And for comparison, consider that the Note 20 series, comprising two models, only managed 7.5 million in the same time frame. The Note 10 series was 9.5 million, Note 9 to 9.6 million and the currently reigning king of the Notes is the Galaxy Note 8, with 10, 3 million sales. But at the rate things are going, the S22 Ultra will overtake it. And that's probably reason enough for Samsung to keep its current plan in motion and not resurrect the Note line. In the meantime, I would say, it isn't really important that the word Note is missing from the name of a phone that is all the features of a Note. That's the end of the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.